Former treasure hunter turned fugitive Tommy Thompson is facing jail time because he won't say what he did with 500 gold coins he salvaged. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us at 6. I'm Cabot Ray. I'm Colleen Marshall. Tonight, our Ted Hart is live in Westerville, where he went to a local coin dealer to get an idea of what those missing coins are worth. Ted? Well, Colleen, they're not worth what they once were. The interest has waned some as the story has dragged on in court. And the story is key. For instance, the story of the SS Republic, another ship that went down in 1865 in the Gulf of Mexico. The coins from that ship were recovered in 2003. And the value of these kinds of coins can range up into the thousands of dollars. Price? Coin dealer Tom Squires says the premium comes, paid for a gold is. coin depends on its story. And initially, the story of the shipwrecked SS Central America made the coins recovered by Tommy Thompson highly desirable. It's got a certain romance to it because it was, took a lot of people's lives and some people's uh, fortunes, if you will. Um, tragedy always tends to bring out interest. Squire says he's seen about 50 gold coins from the SS Central America pass through his Westerville store. This one is a San Francisco mint. The coins originally salvaged by Tommy Thompson in the late 80s sold for an estimated $50 million. Individually, the coins sold for twenty dollars and $30,000. Online, the coins are now available in the seven dollars to $15,000 range, time eroding the interest in the shipwreck story and the value of its coins. Investors in Tommy Thompson's venture have received nothing, and that court battle continues. With Thompson now refusing to reveal the whereabouts of 500 missing coins, one investor said today that Thompson has truly violated the trust investors placed in him. Another said it's all just become an interesting soap opera. But Tom Squires says for collectors, not nearly as interesting as it once was. But it was kind of the, the novelty of it that, that you think uh, kind of inflated the value for a period of time? It always is, because you get, you get the story sells the product. And that romantic story is now all mucked up with a long, ugly court battle and, uh, and white-collar crime. And so still several chapters, perhaps, to be written in the story of Tommy Thompson and the SS Central America. Live at Allen's Coins in Westerville, Ted Hart, NBC4. All right, thanks so much, Ted. Now, this is a story we have been following every step of the way. To see all the stories we've done on Thompson and the Ship of Gold, just search Tommy Thompson at NBC4i.com.